submitted by Emily Gutierrez. A 28-year-old man falls in love with the voice of a woman who called him by mistake, tracks her down, and discovers she is... Married. 82 years old. What does her voice sound like? Because 82 year old. Voice. Sounds like yeah. an 82 year old. Sound like 82 year olds. What if she has a sexy ass voice told you're like, oh. Or what if he's just into that? And keep them busy? Trust me. Wait a minute. Well, where's her it eyes? Looks like they're the same age. Well, they uh, blurred her face. No. 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 She's she going like this. <laughs> Wait, why is her face like that? <laughs> She looks like a snake. No, because it looks like she's it like purposely moving. Here. Or maybe it's it just from like this it's far pixelated. away. Who looks older than 28? <laughs> Who's those two kids? So this is his mom and this is his brother. Can I see a close up? What? I feel bad. I have a really so, fucked up angle. Okay. So I will be here. That lady's older than his mom. Wait, her face looks pixelated though. Why well, you zoomed up. So there was this 3D house that was recently printed in Russia. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Julia, just shut the fuck yeah, up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well, if I shut the fuck up, I can't tell you guys the story now, can I? Right? Tell him, Julia. Yeah, tell him. I'm telling you. It's a figure of speech. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. All right. Everything else, like, they only built the structure. Everything else, everyone had to go in and put windows in and yeah. install, like, the piping. Still got to do work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about a teepee, though? Like, just bring it back to the old school. Did you oh, did you own a bathroom and like a sewer system? That's the ultimate hater. <laughs> I don't know. People still gotta work for that shit. They gotta still piping and watch shit. Still gotta do work though. <laughs> I just want it to appear from thin air and it's just ready to go. Like your country, right? Yes. I think he, I think Joe needs a genie. Just make it happen. So this next one that we have is about this turtle. And this turtle actually had 915 coins inside of her stomach. What? Why? That's so greedy. What? How, what? <laughs> why, why does she have, is it a tortoise or a turtle? So let me show you a picture. To my Greedy eyes, ass fucking turtle. Oh, fucking penny, okay. penny pinching <laughs> bitch. A green sea turtle. Oh, it's a sea turtle? Dude, you're gonna get a fine in Hawaii. You can't be touching turtles. Where does it take place? That is cool, man. I wanna build a hotel too. Me too. You should have a hotel full of your art. It'll be fucking sick. It's gonna be psychedelic as hell. I know. Oh. That's what I was just thinking. Things like that. <laughs> I want a hotel. It's a That's Bart Bart original. That's yeah. the beginning of it. That's when I was an amateur. You should see the stuff I make now. He doesn't make anything now. It's... <laughs> what was I, the last thing you if made? If I painted a hotel and I put everything where I wanted it to be, it would be the best place in the world. Mm. Can you explain the inspiration behind yeah, this uh, painting behind this right here? Because <laughs> I do the unfinished fucking sun, <laughs> dude. That thing's a million dollars. Be careful. <laughs> Don't let your oils get on it. <laughs> this is a Bart Kwan original, appraised at right now 2.2 million euros. <laughs> wow. Um, can we talk about these? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Trace. What was the purpose behind not finishing the rest of the heads of the right. parts? In, in this inspired artwork, I really wanted to have symmetry. This is over 10 years old, right? Mm. I don't know. So I wanted to make the elbows match. And then I drew the grids in the hands so that the hands could also match perfectly. Because I wanted to be symmetrical. He's a symmetrical sun. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to show the sky with blue, light blue, and purple. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny though that you gave it Mickey Mouse hands with the gloves too. <laughs> no. I was actually, uh, I googled a stock photo of Mickey Mouse hands. Oh, okay. so it is Mickey Mouse hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like how it's very wow. textured and bumpy because yeah. there's like layer upon layer of yellow yes, and orange. You do realize the, the French technique I've been using. Can How'd we also explain why the sunglasses is the same color as its flesh? <laughs> <laughs> put the black in yet. <laughs> And there's a technique that I don't know if you guys really know about this. It's extremely advanced. You see the smiley face? Yes. Mm -hmm. I turned the paintbrush upside down. Oh, <laughs> that's all thick. <laughs> uh, can we also? Can you also tell uh, these art curators uh, how long it took you to paint this? It took me about, I think, like four to six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. I mean, it looks like it probably took at Julie, least three Julie, you're not three the only weeks. artist anymore. Uh, no, it's cool. So, you know, Bart, we should have a painting session together. Yes. Uh, 2.2 million euros, just to put it out there for you guys. Euros. <laughs> not dollars. Be careful, dude. I want to get back into art. You you make art too? Yeah. What have you made? I used to paint. I used to... His art's dope. Really? I've never seen I haven't touched art. shit in a long time. 
Maybe you should have a Cool Bros art. Oh yeah, with Isaac? Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Another customer ordered mozzarella sticks and the same thing. So they put in the comments. You want to read it? Yep. Didn't have as bad a week as the other person, but you need to give them a kickback for letting Toronto know the matzo sticks are back on the menu. Ooh. <laughs> so they're ecstatic. They're like, I'm so glad I heard about that. Is that the slang word? Matzo sticks? Matzo. Maybe just to shorten it for the com for the Matzo sticks, motherfucker. Toronto. It was just I, I guess the fact. So this went really fast. Oh fuck. Give me the butt. <laughs> so this went really viral because it was just really hilarious. Like people found it really hilarious the fact that this person had to justify the fact that they ordered so many orders of mozzarella sticks. So they're like, don't judge me. I've had a bad week. Yeah. That's what Bart said though. That's yeah. a Canadian thing because they're health conscious. Because I've seen this full order at a restaurant during his bulking phase, and she was the most hilarious thing I ever seen. What do you think? So no, he used to be saying that's a Gio, right? He goes, okay, well, can I get the number two? And then also, can I get a Coke with a lot of extra ice on the side? And then she, she moves away. And <laughs> can I get an extra order of chicken on the side? And then also some tofu and then some spring rolls and then maybe this plate too. And then she, they walk by G Gio too and he goes, oh, that's just for me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I haven't ordered yet. It was during his bulking phase. You're eating so much, dude. Yeah. It was crazy. I like it.